Rustic Road of 2020. Wait for this car to go by. We are at Rustic Road 48. Let's see, where are we? Pine River? <laughs> and the goal always is to get flip up my visor just a little bit more here. Ready? Smile bike. You have to get a picture of, oh, not myself, of the bike and the rustic road sign. So that way you know you had done it. And I'm gonna go ride it. So it's about two miles and I'll let you know how it is after the fact. And I'll take you along with me, of course, for the ride. What's interesting, and if you do your research, you're gonna know. But if you don't do your research beforehand, one, they're really hard to find as far as like a Google map goes. I'll let this guy go by. Um, I forget where I was. Oh, but it's just really hard to find right away. You know how to use your Google Maps. I like pinpoint an exact location and it'll take me directly to there. But you don't know what you're getting into. So whether it's gravel, paved, a dirt road, I have never ridden on a dirt road yet, but my goal, and it doesn't have to be all this year because I don't think I'm going to be able to do them all or complete them all this year, is to ride all of the rustic roads at some point. So I feel like I'm a little behind this year, but I'm probably not. It's the middle of May, so oh, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to complete them all at some point so if I'm able to and if I can get most of them in this year that would be awesome but there are over a hundred of these rustic roads all throughout the state of Wisconsin and I've covered most of my like central Wisconsin ones because that's where I'm located but I want to so badly get up in the like northwest part like right along the Mississippi River too there's so many up in that like St. Croix area that I think would be just epic so I'm gonna hold off on doing those if I can do them with my husband next year that would be pretty cool um, if I can't I'm gonna just do them this year and then what's well, convenient this exit sorry there's a lot of cars coming through What's convenient is that literally right in this intersection here, right on my County W and 26th Road, is actually another rustic group. So they both kind of connect, which is awesome. So you can kind of double dip <laughs> for both of them. So I just completed um, 48. It was pretty simple. It was uh, less than a two mile route, I believe. Or it probably was a two mile route. And all paved, so it was nice. It'll be awesome to see when like the summer cut rolls in and you really get a fill of all of those like filled trees, fold trees, but it was good. So I'm going to ride um, 117 because I'm right here and then I'm going to head up to like Hartman Creek State Park and try to do the two that are up there today. So fingers crossed everything goes well and yeah, I'll take you along for the ride. Hopefully I have enough storage in my GoPro to do so because I guess I ran out of storage already and I ran out of one battery. So I'm like, oh, this is gonna be great. <laughs> All right, fingers crossed. See you guys.